In the last lesson of school days, all of the students get so tired that even they cannot concentrate on the lesson. But after the bell rings, all of them go to home by bus, cars or whatever. Then they arrive at their house and call their mothers to prepare food for them. Oh, okay, human rights. How do you think about the human rights? What is your responsibility? Then they have a rest. This is a routine life of students. But my life is different from theirs. I had never asked my mom to prepare food for me. I had never called her when I reached the house. And I had never seen her. Or even I don't know her name. Because my parents passed away when I was born. Hey, how are you? How's it going today? Today was our day, bro. And tomorrow we have math exam. Teacher told us to study very well. Hey, what's up? I knew you are worried for my exam results. Believe me, I don't have any idea about it, but I think it was good. No, bro, I'm always alone. I miss you, and I need you. I never forget those days we spent together. However, it was an awful time. No family, no money, no good people. Life was horrible. After the accident, my life changed. It became better. Actually, it became two-sided life. One bad side, one good side. The bad side was losing you. I cannot imagine how that happened, brother. But the good side was fulfilling the promise that I gave it to you. I know now you remember that promise. And I want to thank you because you forced me to go to that place. I found another world, another life, another people. And the most important thing that I found in school is the love. The love which I didn't receive from my parents was provided by my teachers. Of course, I'm not happy for losing you. But what can we do? It's our destiny. But I learned that I will never be brave if I don't get hurt. I will never learn if I don't make mistakes and I will never be successful if I don't encounter failure. I regret nothing in my life. Even my past was full of heart. I still look back and smile because it made me who I am today.
similar to this day, there was a birth to a wonderful boy who had grown up until he had realized that he had a lot of wish to be achieved. But he was not aware that the destiny of poverty and the curse of sadness were waiting for him, his wish gone with the wine. Hey, who are you? I think you know who I am, but tell me who are you, and where do you find that chain? We were on the road to orphanage. Dude, what? Have you ever been to school? Yeah, I left at secondary school. What was the reason? Financial situation. If you go to school again, will you start from the secondary school? Maybe, I don't know. Yesterday, while I was polishing shoes, someone came and sat down next to me. It was so weird, that I've never seen someone who to sit down in that dirty place. But he sat down. And he talked to me. What are you talking about? He said that your place is not here. And you don't have future in this world. You must take education. It's better for your future. And he said that your age is illegal for working. Look. What? It's a school. So? Let's go and ask them. Maybe they will accept us. No, we are old. No, we are not too old. Maybe they will accept us. You can start from the secondary school. And I will start from the primary school. The teachers are very kind. They will, they will help us. Come on, bro. Forget about school. No, I will not forget about it. I will turn that door. I'm not coming with you. Why didn't you save him? Why didn't you, why didn't you prevent him? Why? It wasn't my fault. It was his fault. Our life is written by creator. And in this universe, no one has the ability to change his own fate. You are just talking to me like I killed Samia. No, I didn't. You couldn't protect your brother. Where were you that long time? My story began when I was six and Samyon was four. In that year, our parent passed away because of a car accident. We lived with our grandfather, but after one year, he passed away too. After him, a man came and took us to his own illegal orphanage. It was illegal, you know why? He was trading with our organs, and he was selling children to the families who don't have kids. Samyon was lucky because a family came and adopted him. But I was unlucky because I am the victim of organs. He sold one of my kidneys. But I don't know how Samyan became a street boy because, as I said, a family adopted him. It's complicated. Don't be sad, bro. Don't be sad. This is the fate of million children. They don't want be, to be the victim of those things. They want to have a bright future. They want to learn reading and writing, but they don't have any ability to achieve their dreams. We, we need to help them. Yeah, we must help them. Actually, I have an idea to donate some help for children.
child, three children in the hall. What's your plan? My plan is putting a box in the entrance of our schools and announce it to all the students. And if they help us buy money, buy clothes or, or whatever, we can arrange a place for poor and street children for their education. And if this plan works, all of the schools in city or maybe around the whole country will imitate us and put the boxes in their own school. And by this way, we can bring a smile to all innocent children faces which are working day and night. So it's the time to, to help the children by the way of that bus.